Windows Live Movie Maker, Part 1. Overview and Adding Images. Welcome to Windows Movie Maker. Before we begin, we're going to go ahead and save our project so that if the computer crashes, which sometimes it will do, we'll be able to recover our information. So we're going to click on the Save and under the Digital Storytelling folder on the desktop. We're going to save this Movie Maker project as DNA. So now that we have it saved, here is a quick overview of the program. Like all Windows programs, well, most recent Windows programs, we have the ribbon across the top, which is how we will add in effects and animations and work with any any pictures that we put in. On the right hand side here we have the editing window. The editing window is where we will put our pictures and we will put in our transitions and all the other pieces that will eventually make up our digital story. On the left we have the viewing window so that as we're working we'll be able to see what we have done and we'll be able to preview it as it would, as it would look. The Power Movie Maker is about shuffling between tool menus and adding effects. As you add images to your story, you'll be able to edit them quickly and put in transitions. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add in some pictures. So I'm going to open up a digital storytelling photo, or excuse me, digital storytelling folder here, and I'm going to select all the images those in. There's a couple of music and text documents that I don't want to add in, so I'm just going around those. We have dragged all the images into our editing window. And right now, if we wanted to preview how it would look, we just hit the play button here. And notice this black bar, that is the playhead. So that shows us where in the movie is being displayed. Right now, as you can see, it's pretty boring. All it is is just a picture for a few seconds, and then it changes to another picture. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the duration of each photo. Right now, each photo sits up there for about seven seconds, which is way too long. So what we're going to do is select all of the photos. So I'll click on the first one, hold down Shift, click on the last one. Now all these are selected. And then we're going to click on the Edit tab, because as you see, this popped up now that we have images selected. It wasn't there before. And we're going to change the duration to three seconds. Now, as you can see, our video is only 48 seconds long, which isn't too long. But this will give each image just a little bit of time to show. All right, now before we go on too far, I'll delete this duplicate here. And I'll group all of the images of giraffes together. Not sure if I'm going to want them all to be together at the same time, but that way I'll know kind of where everything is. So that's all the time we have for now. And the next video, we'll talk about how to change properties of the photos and adding the Ken Burns effect in titles.